Hi folks, my name is Jeff Rudd. I am posting on behalf of the Facebook page, the Irish Water Scam Information page. Please look up, you will find some very useful information there under the file section. Okay. There is no doubt now the Irish government is in quiet panic mode. They had originally formulated a strategy which would quietly allow later a private company to sell back but what the constitution says we already own, our natural resources, in this case our water. Many, many people around Ireland copped onto this scam and rejected the notion, thankfully. They meanwhile came up with another mad notion to try shoving a monopoly contract down the throats of every adult in the nation. Not only that, but such was the arrogance that they wanted said contracts to be applicable to future generations also. Yes, their arrog arrogance was that strong. Thankfully, again, people caught on to this too, and by feet on the street, showed their annoyance with it and their rejection of the notion. Well done to them. So they, the government, are now trying a new two-pronged approach. One, they're trying to get people sucked into a contract by lowering the prices just long enough so that later, once they are sucked into said contract for the rest of their lives, up can go the prices. Please do not fall for this con. They are just holding sugar out on a stick to try and suck you in. Don't fall for it, please. Two, they are ultimately desperate for Irish water to be accepted by the Irish people. This is why, though although, although they didn't originally want a further referendum to protect what's ours anyway, our water, they are now adding or speaking of a possible referendum to protect our water. But, and there is a but, they will include the wording Irish water within the referendum uh, offering that they will put before the people. Such is their de desperation now, they've come to the conclusion that if they are pushed with, they can include Irish water and under the guise of protecting our water, have this slight attachment that says by vote, we accept Irish water. Thus, their right to charge again for what for we already pay for and what for what we already own. In a referendum they might speak of, they are not just giving us one route the other, they must get the people to vote by one way or another to openly accept or by attachment to agree to the existence of Irish water and thus what later follows on from the existence of that company for their bills non-stop. Please, please, please reject anything that has the inclusion of Irish water written into it. It is ultimately important. You are saying that you agree it should exist and that its reason for existing, its billing, are legitimate if you vote to accept Irish water into our constitution through a referendum. Please do not be fooled into doing this. Reject everything that is Irish water and reject every person that is trying to shove this con by PR stunt down your throat. Don't be fooled. Please continue to reject Irish Water the company and the reason for Irish Water, that being trying to charge you for something you already own and for what you're already paying for through your tax, VAT and the charge upon your very home. Don't fall for it. My name is Jeff Rudd, thank you for listening to myself waffle on and please keep up the good fight peacefully. Thank you.